Rejection Power, written and published by N. Gas Life. Rejection is something we all experience at some point in our lives. Dealing with rejection can be challenging in various aspects of our lives, such as personal relationships, work, and social situations. Yet, how we deal with rejection significantly impacts our overall well being and success. This book aims to assist you in handling rejection effectively so that you can come out of it stronger, wiser, and more resilient. You will discover how to change your outlook on rejection, boost your self esteem, and build the skills to recover from challenges through practical lessons and valuable insights. We will discuss the significance of seeing rejection as a normal aspect of life's path and how to leverage these situations for personal development and progress. You will learn effective ways to recognize and work on your weaknesses, along with understanding that it's impossible to satisfy everyone constantly. In this book, we will explore the effectiveness of self care, journaling, and mindfulness techniques in dealing with and moving past the emotions linked to rejection. You will discover how to separate your self esteem from seeking approval from others and develop a deep sense of self assurance. By confiding in close friends and adjusting your expectations, you can build a support network and a practical perspective to better handle life's challenges. This book is designed to help you develop rejection resilience, enabling you to confront rejection, learn from it, and persist in pursuing your goals with greater determination. Whether you've recently faced rejection or want to prepare for future challenges, this book will help you see rejection as a path to personal development and achievement. Let's start this transformative journey together and discover the strength of resilience in facing rejection. Lesson 1 Take rejection as an experience of life. Natasha always had big dreams that extended beyond her small hometown. She had a supportive family and tight circle of friends, but she felt the urge to venture out and discover more of the world. Natasha embarked on a journey to pursue her dreams with optimism and determination. She submitted an application to her top choice university, put a lot of effort into her admissions essay, and anxiously waited for a reply. Upon receiving the envelope, she eagerly tore it apart, revealing the crushing word, rejected. She felt overwhelmed by the pain of rejection, as if it could engulf her in self-doubt and despair. She doubted her value, her skills, and who she truly was. How can she confront her family and friends, realizing she didn't reach her goals? However, as time passed, Natasha started to understand that rejection was just a part of her journey, not the end of her story. She realized that the university's decision did not reflect her value as a person, but was merely a product of a very competitive admissions process. Embracing Rejection as a Part of Life Natasha found a new sense of resilience. She realized that facing obstacles and letdowns was a natural part of life, but they did not shape her identity. Instead, she decided to see rejection as a chance for personal development, an opportunity to review her objectives and discover alternative routes to achievement. Natasha started looking into different universities and programs that matched her interests and passions. She sought advice and support from mentors and advisors as she embarked on this new phase of her life. While exploring these new opportunities, Natasha faced additional rejections. However, she always confronted them with poise and resolve, understanding that each rejection was a step towards the perfect acceptance. By embracing rejection, Natasha found a newfound strength and resilience within herself. She discovered the importance of trusting her instincts, persevering through challenges, and finding joy and purpose in the journey, rather than just focusing on the end goal. When she got the acceptance letter from the university that truly connected with her, Natasha realized that every rejection she had experienced was a crucial part of her journey. They molded her character, fueled her development, and readied her for the obstacles and victories to come. Natasha took the lessons she learned from rejection with her as she started this new chapter of her life. 
She embraced every new experience with a positive attitude, viewing setbacks as learning opportunities and challenges as chances for personal growth. As she chased her dreams with fervor and determination, Natasha motivated others to follow suit. She emerged as a symbol of hope and strength for people who had experienced rejection, emphasizing that their value came from within rather than seeking approval from others. Natasha's story ultimately turned out to be a tale of triumph rather than rejection. She had embraced life's highs and lows with grace and courage, understanding that each experience, whether joyful or painful, played a role in shaping her into the person she was meant to be. Armed with that information, she confidently moved towards a future brimming with potential prepared to tackle any obstacles and chances that came her way. Rejection is something we all face in various areas of our lives, including personal, professional, romantic, and platonic relationships. Life is a powerful influence on who we are, pushing us to be stronger and more adaptable when faced with challenges. Experiencing rejection from a potential employer, a romantic interest, or a social group can be very painful, making us feel vulnerable, exposed, and unsure of where we belong. Even though rejection can be painful, it does not define our self. Worth, it is a normal part of life that we all have to deal with in our own way. Rejection serves as a reminder of our deep connection as social beings, highlighting our need for acceptance, validation, and belonging. Since birth, we naturally crave validation and love from our family, friends, and co workers. The strong desire for connection and acceptance is deeply ingrained in our nature, serving as a crucial factor in our species' survival and prosperity over countless generations. However, in a competitive world with limited resources, rejection is an inevitable part of life, serving as a needed contrast to the desire for warmth and acceptance. Experiencing rejection can be very painful for many people. Leading to feelings of shame, inadequacy, and self doubt. Rejection can sometimes be seen as a personal failure or a reflection of various factors influencing our social interactions rather than a simple outcome. It's common to doubt our worth and capabilities, which can impact our self esteem and hinder our personal development. Yet, It is during these times of vulnerability and self doubt that we can experience the most significant personal growth and transformation. By changing how we view rejection, we can grow stronger and more adaptable when facing challenges. Instead of taking rejection personally, we can view it as a helpful form of feedback and an opportunity to reevaluate our goals, strategies, and expectations based on new insights. To build resilience, it's important to nurture a strong belief in our own value and worth, independent of others' opinions. This involves embracing and valuing ourselves completely, including our imperfections, and understanding that our value as people is not affected by others' opinions or behaviors. It involves developing self compassion and self forgiveness. Recognizing that we are all flawed people who encounter errors and challenges while striving for personal development and satisfaction. One crucial factor in learning to handle rejection is to keep a balanced and realistic view of its role in our lives. Experiencing hurt and disappointment from rejection is normal, but it's crucial not to let these emotions take over or shape our entire perspective on life. It's important to understand that rejection is a common part of life, and even the most accomplished people have experienced setbacks and disappointments. To achieve this perspective, focus on the positive aspects of our lives that bring joy, fulfillment, and purpose. One way to achieve this is by appreciating the good things and chances we have. Building strong connections with friends and family and engaging in activities that let us showcase our creativity and enthusiasm. By focusing on what is most important to us, we can develop resilience and inner strength to overcome rejection and adversity. Another useful approach for handling rejection is to see it as a chance for learning and personal development. 
instead of focusing on the pain and disappointment of rejection, we can view it as an opportunity to learn valuable insights and skills that will benefit us in the future. You may need to think about the specific situation that caused the rejection. Find ways to enhance our methods and look for chances to apply what we've learned. For instance, when faced with job or promotion rejection, we can view it as an opportunity to review our career objectives and methods, pinpoint any knowledge or experience deficiencies, and create a plan to improve in those areas. One option is to find mentors or advisors for guidance and support. Participate in workshops or training programs to develop new skills or consider different career paths that align with our strengths and interests. If we face rejection from a romantic interest or social group, it can be an opportunity to reflect on our needs and preferences, recognize any hindering patterns or behaviors, and create new ways to form connections with others. One option is to find new social circles or communities that align with our values and interests. Another approach is to improve our communication skills by practicing assertiveness and setting boundaries. Seeking help from a therapist or counselor can also be beneficial in addressing any underlying issues affecting our relationships. In the end, mastering how to handle rejection in a positive and effective manner involves being open to facing discomfort and uncertainty, pushing ourselves beyond our usual boundaries, and daring to take chances to achieve our aspirations. Understanding that rejection is not a reflection of our personal worth, but a natural part of the human experience that we all must learn to handle in our own way. Embarking on a journey of self-discovery and personal development can be challenging and uncomfortable at times, as it may involve facing difficult emotions and beliefs that have been ingrained in us for a long time. Approaching rejection with curiosity, self-compassion, and resilience can help transform our relationship with it from fear and avoidance to acceptance and growth. We can view rejection as a valuable opportunity for feedback and insight, prompting us to reevaluate our strategies and expectations based on new information and perspectives rather than a personal attack or a reflection of our inadequacy. We can develop a strong self-esteem by understanding that our value is not dependent on others' approval. We can keep a balanced and realistic view on rejection in our lives, recognizing that it is a normal and unavoidable part of being human and something we all need to handle with grace and resilience. Embracing rejection as a chance for growth and self-discovery can lead to new opportunities and potential. It allows us to pursue our passions and dreams with courage and determination, knowing that we have the strength to overcome setbacks and challenges, emerging stronger and wiser. Ultimately, viewing rejection as a part of life involves understanding that we are all flawed people, navigating the intricacies of human life. It's all about embracing the complete spectrum of human emotions and experiences including the highs and lows, successes and setbacks, and the various challenges that influence our life path. It's all about developing a strong sense of self-love and self-acceptance. Understanding that our value as people isn't affected by others' opinions or actions, but is a result of our own strengths, talents, and contributions. By embracing rejection with an open mind, curiosity, and self-kindness, we can change our perspective on it from fear and avoidance to acceptance and personal development. We can view rejection as a normal part of the human experience. Rather than a personal shortcoming or a sign of our own inadequacy, it's something we all have to deal with and overcome with strength and resilience. By embarking on a journey of self-discovery and personal growth, we can cultivate the inner strength and resilience required to confidently pursue our goals and dreams. Despite any obstacles or setbacks, we can rely on our inner power to overcome them and emerge stronger, wiser, and more self-assured. Lesson 2. Identify and improve your weakness. Although facing rejection can be challenging, it can also be a chance for personal development and improvement. To effectively handle rejection, 
It's important to pinpoint your weaknesses and use the experience as a driver for personal growth and improvement. By honestly reflecting on the factors that led to the rejection, you can gain valuable insights into areas for growth and improvement and take proactive steps to address these issues directly. One of the initial things to do in this process is to understand that rejection does not define your worth as a person, but is rather a result of specific circumstances. It's common to feel like rejection is a personal failure, but it's important to remember that everyone experiences rejection at some point in their lives. It's a normal part of being human. Viewing rejection as a chance to learn instead of a personal criticism can help you approach the situation with a positive and growth-oriented mindset, emphasizing self-improvement over self-blame. After embracing a growth-oriented mindset, the next step involves honestly examining the specific factors that may have led to the rejection. One way to handle this is by asking for input from people you trust, like a close friend, family member, or mentor. They can give you a fresh viewpoint and helpful feedback. You might also need to reflect on yourself, ask challenging questions about your strengths and weaknesses, and pinpoint areas for improvement or skill development. For instance, if you faced a job or promotion rejection. It could be beneficial to carefully assess your application documents and interview performance for any shortcomings or missed opportunities to highlight your capabilities. Your resume or cover letter might be improved by crafting a more focused and engaging story that showcases your key skills and experiences in alignment with the job requirements. Maybe you could work on improving your interview skills by emphasizing confidence, clearly stating your value, and establishing a connection with your interviewer. If you faced rejection in romantic or social situations, it could be helpful to reflect on your behaviors and communication to uncover any recurring patterns or habits that might be hindering you. Maybe you have a tendency to be too forceful or move too fast, which could be too much for potential partners. Making them feel overwhelmed by your intensity or clinginess. Maybe you find it challenging to assert yourself and set boundaries, which can lead to others exploiting your kindness or generosity without giving back. Identifying these patterns and addressing them through self-reflection, therapy, or coaching can help you build healthier and more fulfilling relationships with others. Identifying your weaknesses is just the initial stage in the journey of personal growth and self-improvement. Once you start taking action to tackle these challenges and acquire new abilities, that's when the real progress happens. You may need to consider pursuing further training or education in your field, such as formal coursework, workshops, or mentorship programs. You can start by trying out new behaviors and communication styles in casual situations, like with friends or family, before using them in more important scenarios, such as job interviews or first dates. It might also include developing a mindset that can recover from challenges and failures with grace and determination. It involves seeing rejection as a temporary setback rather than a permanent defeat, and concentrating on the lessons and insights gained from the experience instead of fixating on the pain or disappointment. Developing a stronger sense of self-worth and self-confidence involves valuing your unique strengths, talents, and contributions rather than relying on external validation. Coping with rejection involves recognizing and enhancing your shortcomings, which is a continuous journey involving self-assessment, development, and a readiness to push boundaries and embrace challenges to achieve your aspirations. It's not a quick fix or a miracle solution, but a step-by-step -step process of learning and growing, evolving as you encounter different obstacles and chances for growth. To succeed in this process. It's important to maintain a curious, self-compassionate, and resilient attitude. Setbacks and failures are a normal part of life, providing chances for learning and development. It involves developing a growth mindset, where challenges are viewed as chances to learn and grow rather than as impossible obstacles. Surround yourself with supportive and encouraging people who can offer guidance, feedback, and accountability. They will help you stay motivated and focused on your goals, even during challenging times. 
By dedicating yourself to this journey of ongoing self-improvement and personal development, you can slowly change how you view rejection from something to fear and avoid to something to accept and bounce back from. Viewing rejection as a valuable source of feedback and insight can help you identify areas for growth and development to reach your full potential, rather than a personal failure or sign of inadequacy. Cultivate a strong sense of self-love and self-acceptance, understanding that your worth is not defined by others' opinions or actions, but by your own strengths, talents, and contributions. Undoubtedly, this process can be challenging and uncomfortable, and there may be moments when the pain of rejection seems too much to bear. During challenging times, it's crucial to remember that you have a support system of people and resources ready to help you. You can consider asking for help from friends, family, or mental health professionals, or connecting with communities of people who have similar values and goals. It could also involve taking care of yourself and showing kindness to yourself. Acknowledging your worth as a person, regardless of your achievements or setbacks, you can find joy and fulfillment in activities like hobbies, creative pursuits, or volunteer work. It's also important to take time to rest and recharge when necessary. By taking care of your well-being and self-worth, you can develop the resilience and inner strength to overcome rejection and come out stronger and more self-assured. In the end, Addressing rejection by recognizing and enhancing your shortcomings is a valuable method for personal development and self-exploration, which can assist you in developing the abilities, competencies, and attitude required to thrive in various aspects of life. By embracing rejection with curiosity, self-compassion, and resilience, you can change your perspective from fear and avoidance to acceptance and growth. Viewing rejection as a valuable source of feedback and insight can help you identify areas for growth and development, rather than as a personal failure or sign of inadequacy. By continuously improving and growing personally, you can develop a strong sense of self-love and self-acceptance. Your worth is based on your unique strengths, talents, and contributions, not on external validation. Embracing rejection as a chance for learning and growth allows you to pursue your passions and dreams with courage and determination. You can overcome setbacks and challenges, emerging stronger, wiser, and more self-assured. Ultimately, addressing rejection involves recognizing and enhancing your shortcomings without aiming for flawlessness or trying to eradicate rejection entirely from your life. It's important to develop a balanced view of rejection in your personal and professional growth. It's a natural part of life that can lead to personal development and self-discovery. Embrace rejection with openness, curiosity, and self-compassion to change your perspective from fear to acceptance, seeing setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth. By continuously improving yourself and developing personally, you can acquire the necessary skills, competencies, and mindset to succeed in various aspects of life. This will enable you to pursue your goals and dreams with confidence, determination, and a strong belief in your own worth and potential. Lesson 3. Realizing the truth that you can't please everyone. Rejection can ruin your happiness if you can't deal with it. The key to handle rejection is understanding that you cannot make everyone happy. Regardless of your efforts, compromises, or values, there will always be people who fail to appreciate or acknowledge your true self, and that is perfectly fine. It's not just okay. It's a crucial part of being human that we need to accept to develop resilience, confidence, and inner peace. Essentially, Wanting to make others happy is a common and relatable human instinct. Since childhood, we learn to look for approval and validation from various people in our lives, such as parents, teachers, peers, and eventually colleagues and partners. It is important to adhere to social norms, meet expectations, and avoid conflict to maintain harmonious relationships and achieve success in different areas of life. 
As we mature, we come to understand that this method has its restrictions. We realize that always looking for validation and approval from others can be tiring, unsatisfying, and not sustainable in the long run. We understand that there will always be people who hold differing opinions, offer criticism, or have unfavorable feelings towards us, regardless of our efforts to persuade them otherwise. Coming to this realization may initially feel challenging and uneasy, particularly after years of attempting to conform to others' standards. Experiencing rejection or disapproval can make us feel like we've failed or aren't good enough, leading to feelings of shame or inadequacy. It's important to keep in mind that these emotions do not define our worth as people. They are just a natural reaction to feeling judged or excluded, and they do not determine who we are as people. Actually, Understanding and welcoming rejection can be a valuable tool for personal development and self-exploration. When we prioritize our values, passions, and goals over trying to please everyone, we unlock a world full of possibilities and opportunities and opportunities. We realize that genuine satisfaction and joy stem from living in a way that is true to ourselves and chasing after our own aspirations, instead of always looking for validation and approval from others. We begin to develop a strong self-identity and inner confidence that remains steady despite the views or behaviors of others. Naturally, this process can be challenging and uncomfortable at times. It involves being ready to go beyond our comfort zones, take risks, and confront our fears directly. It involves learning how to handle discomfort and uncertainty, accepting failure as a normal part of learning and continuing to progress despite setbacks or obstacles. It also involves building a solid network of friends, family, and mentors who support and motivate us to strive for our best, especially during challenging times. One effective strategy for handling rejection is to view it as a positive experience instead of a negative one. Viewing rejection as a chance for growth and learning rather than a personal failure or sign of inadequacy can be empowering. We may reflect on what lessons we can glean from the experience, how it can offer insights into ourselves and others, and how we can leverage this understanding to grow and develop personally. One way to cope is by practicing self-compassion and self-care. It's important to remember that rejection is a common experience and doesn't define our worth. Another crucial aspect of handling rejection involves establishing healthy boundaries and effectively communicating our needs and expectations. Trying to satisfy everyone can lead to sacrificing our own values, needs, and desires. One might agree to tasks they don't truly want to do or put up with actions that cause discomfort or unhappiness just to prevent conflict or disapproval. Yet this method is not sustainable in the long run and may result in feelings of resentment, burnout, and potential mental health challenges. We need to practice being assertive and truthful about our needs and boundaries, even if it results in encountering rejection or disapproval from others. We need to be ready to decline things that do not match our values or goals, establish clear boundaries for our time and energy, and communicate our expectations and needs in a respectful yet firm manner. Initially, this might pose a challenge, particularly for those accustomed to putting others' needs before their own. However, through practice and self-awareness, it can evolve into a valuable asset for fostering strong relationships and reaching personal objectives. In the end, understanding how to handle rejection involves recognizing that it's a continuous process that demands self-assessment, development, and a readiness to accept challenges and ambiguity. It involves releasing the desire for outside validation and approval, and instead concentrating on developing a solid self-image and a profound inner assurance that remains steady, despite others' opinions or behaviors. It involves developing a growth mindset viewing challenges and setbacks as chances for learning and growth rather than as personal failures or signs of inadequacy. 
One way to navigate this process is by connecting with positive people and environments that inspire and support us, instead of being around those who bring us down or hinder our progress. One way to enhance our confidence and abilities in different aspects of life is by acquiring new skills and competencies through formal education, workshops, or personal exploration. It could also include engaging in self care and self compassion, being kind and understanding towards ourselves, especially during times of rejection or disappointment. In the end, understanding how to handle rejection involves accepting our uniqueness and authenticity and acknowledging that our worth is not dependent on others' validation. It's important to realize that rejection is a normal part of life and doesn't determine our worth. It's all about developing resilience, confidence, and inner peace, even when dealing with challenges or criticism. By dedicating ourselves to this ongoing journey of personal development and self exploration, we can slowly change how we view rejection from fear and avoidance to acceptance and resilience. Rejection can be viewed as a valuable chance for learning and personal growth rather than a personal failure or sign of inadequacy. We can develop a strong self awareness and inner confidence to follow our dreams with courage and determination, despite challenges. Despite challenges. Undoubtedly, this journey can be challenging and complex, with moments where the sting of rejection seems too much to bear. During challenging times, it's crucial to keep in mind that we have support systems and resources ready to assist us. One way to navigate this is by seeking advice and support from close friends, family, or mental health experts. As well as connecting with groups of people who have similar beliefs and goals. It could also mean taking care of yourself and being kind to yourself, understanding that we all have value and worth, no matter our achievements or setbacks. We can find joy and fulfillment in activities like hobbies, creative pursuits, or volunteer work, and it's important to rest and recharge when necessary. By focusing on our well being and self worth, We can develop the resilience and inner strength to overcome rejection and come out stronger and more confident. Ultimately, understanding that we cannot satisfy everyone is a valuable tool for personal development and self exploration. It can assist us in acquiring the abilities, knowledge, and attitude necessary for success in various aspects of life. By embracing rejection with curiosity, self compassion, and resilience, We can change our perspective from fear and avoidance to acceptance and growth. Viewing rejection as a chance for growth and learning can help us identify areas for improvement and reach our full potential. By continuously improving ourselves and growing personally, we can develop a strong sense of self love and self acceptance. Our worth is based on our unique strengths, talents, and contributions, not on external validation. Embracing rejection as a chance for learning and growth allows us to explore various possibilities and pursue our passions with courage and determination. Despite setbacks, we can overcome challenges and emerge stronger, wiser, and more self assured, wiser, and more self assured. In the end, understanding how to handle rejection involves accepting that we cannot make everyone happy. Rather than aiming for perfection or trying to avoid rejection completely. Instead, it's important to develop a more balanced and realistic view of rejection in our personal and professional growth. It's a natural part of life that can lead to significant personal development and self discovery. By embracing rejection with an open mind, curiosity, and self kindness, we can change our perspective on it from fear and avoidance. To acceptance and strength. Every setback and failure can be a chance for learning, development, and eventual triumph. By continuously improving ourselves and developing personally, we can acquire the necessary skills, competencies, and mindset to succeed in all aspects of life. This enables us to pursue our goals and dreams with confidence, determination, and a strong belief in our own worth and potential. Lesson four: Focus on your self-care. 
One crucial aspect of learning to handle rejection is to concentrate on self-care. This involves putting our own physical, emotional, and mental well-being first, even when facing challenges or criticism. Self-care involves treating ourselves with the same kindness, compassion, and respect we would offer to a loved one. It's important to understand that we deserve love, care, and attention. No matter our achievements or setbacks, prioritizing self-care sends a strong message to ourselves and others that our needs and desires are important, showing our commitment to nurturing and supporting ourselves through life's ups and downs. Self-care, when dealing with rejection, involves practicing self-compassion by being gentle and understanding towards ourselves. Especially during difficult emotions like hurt, anger, or shame, this involves recognizing our pain and disappointment without any judgment or criticism, and remembering that everyone experiences rejection at some point in their lives. It involves understanding that our value comes from within ourselves, not from seeking approval from others. Another crucial element of self-care involves participating in activities that bring us happiness, satisfaction. And a feeling of meaning, engaging in hobbies, spending time outdoors, volunteering, or simply relaxing and recharging, are all beneficial activities. Nurturing our well-being and vitality helps us develop resilience and inner strength to overcome rejection and emerge stronger and more self-assured. Self-care includes establishing healthy boundaries and effectively communicating our needs and expectations. When dealing with rejection, it's common to slip into habits of trying to please others or sacrificing our own needs to seek approval or prevent criticism. Yet this method is not sustainable and may result in feelings of resentment, burnout, and potential mental health challenges in the long run. We need to practice being assertive and honest about our needs and limitations, even if it leads to temporary discomfort or resistance from others. To achieve this, it may require declining requests or invitations that do not match our values or objectives, establishing distinct boundaries for our time and energy, and expressing our expectations and needs in a polite yet assertive manner. By respecting our personal boundaries and standing up for ourselves, we develop self-respect and self-assurance that can help us navigate challenging situations. One important aspect of self-care when dealing with rejection. Is to surround ourselves with supportive relationships and environments that inspire and motivate us. Surrounding ourselves with supportive friends, family members, or mentors who believe in us and our dreams is crucial, especially during challenging times. It could also mean looking for communities or organizations that have similar values and goals, where we can feel like we belong and have a clear purpose. Building a solid support network provides a secure environment to navigate our feelings, exchange experiences, and seek advice and motivation. It's important to remember that we have support and resources to help us through tough times. Self-care includes changing how we view rejection, understanding it as a normal part of life rather than a personal shortcoming. This involves adopting a growth mindset. Where challenges and setbacks are seen as chances for learning and growth, rather than as impossible hurdles or judgments of our value. By embracing rejection with curiosity and openness, we can learn valuable lessons that contribute to our personal growth and development. We might consider questions such as, "What lessons can be gained from this experience? How can I utilize this feedback to enhance and fine?" Tune my approach. What potential positive outcomes could result from this challenge? By changing our viewpoint like this, we turn rejection into an opportunity for personal development and change, rather than something that causes pain and self-doubt. We develop the strength and flexibility required to handle life's challenges with poise and perseverance, recognizing that each obstacle presents opportunities for growth and change. Practicing self-care when dealing with rejection can be challenging, and there may be moments when the pain seems too much to handle. 
During challenging times, it's crucial to keep in mind that healing takes time. It's perfectly fine to give ourselves the necessary space to navigate our feelings and rediscover our inner strength and self-compassion. One option is to consider professional support, like therapy or counseling, to assist in processing experiences and building coping strategies. It might also include activities like mindfulness, meditation, deep breathing, or journaling to help us feel more centered and present. In the end, developing a strong sense of self-love and self-acceptance is crucial for self-care when dealing with rejection. This involves fully accepting ourselves with all our strengths and imperfections and understanding that our value as people does not depend on external validation or approval. Embracing self-love and acceptance makes us stronger in dealing with rejection. As we recognize our intrinsic value, and remain unaffected by others' opinions or behaviors. We cultivate a solid self-awareness that empowers us to confidently pursue our goals and ambitions despite challenges or setbacks. Emphasizing self-care and self-love helps build inner strength and resilience to navigate challenging situations like rejections. We discover how to rely on our instincts and judgment speak up for ourselves and our needs, and find happiness and satisfaction in the process, instead of just focusing on the end goal. As we gracefully navigate life's challenges, we encourage others to do the same. We serve as a source of hope and strength for people who have experienced rejection, emphasizing that their value and capabilities are determined by their inner strength and compassion. Coping with rejection through self-care is a continuous journey that demands dedication, patience, and introspection. By focusing on our well-being and nurturing self-love, we can unlock a realm of opportunities and potential. This allows us to chase our dreams with bravery and resolve, confident in our ability to tackle any obstacle. Lesson 5. Write in journal to process your emotions. During challenging times because of rejection, it's common to feel the urge to withdraw or react strongly, either by avoiding emotions or seeking reassurance from others. One effective method to cope with rejection involves looking within ourselves and delving into our emotions by journaling into our emotions by journaling. Journaling is an uncomplicated yet potent tool for self-discovery and emotional healing. It requires writing down our thoughts and feelings in a secure and private environment, either with a pen and paper or using a keyboard. Journaling is a solitary activity that doesn't need external validation or approval, unlike chatting with a friend or therapist. It's a method of being truthful and genuine with ourselves, delving into our inner world and uncovering meaning and insight in difficult experiences. Journaling can be a valuable tool when dealing with rejection, helping us navigate through our emotions and thoughts. We can take a step back from the intensity of the moment and observe our feelings with curiosity and detachment. When we spend time acknowledging and articulating our emotions, it helps us gain clarity and perspective. We begin to notice patterns and connections, grasp the underlying reasons for our pain, and cultivate a deeper and more empathetic understanding of ourselves and those around us. One important advantage of journaling is that it enables us to manage our emotions in a positive and beneficial manner. Instead of trying to suppress or avoid our emotions, we learn to recognize and embrace them, allowing them to be felt and expressed. It may feel challenging and uneasy, particularly if we're accustomed to suppressing our feelings or pretending to be strong for others. However, when we confront our emotions directly and embrace our vulnerability and authenticity, we can start building stronger emotional resilience and self-awareness. Journaling offers a space for self-reflection and introspection, allowing us to delve into our values, beliefs, and aspirations. When we experience rejection, it's common to forget our true selves and values and to believe our worth depends on others' validation. Reflecting on our thoughts and experiences, examining our motivations and priorities, 
helps us develop a stronger sense of self and purpose. Journaling allows us to reflect on important questions like, What are my true desires in life? Could you please provide me with a list of my strengths and weaknesses? What can I take away from this experience? As we ponder these questions and delve into our inner world, we can start to find more clarity and purpose, even when dealing with rejection or obstacles. Another great benefit of journaling is that it helps us change how we see things and look at situations differently. When we experience rejection, it's common to slip into negative self talk or catastrophic thinking, viewing the situation as a personal failure or a reflection of our inadequacy. By dedicating time to examining our thoughts and emotions on paper, we can confront these restrictive beliefs and cultivate a more well rounded and practical perspective. For instance, we could discuss the particular details of the rejection, the factors that were out of our control, or the lessons we can take away from the experience. We can consider our strengths and achievements, the support from others, and the potential opportunities that could come from the setback. When we shift our attention from the negative to the positive, from problems to solutions, we start developing a more resilient and optimistic mindset. Keeping a journal can also serve as a valuable method for taking care of yourself and promoting emotional well being. Dealing with rejection often leads us to overlook our own needs and well being, pushing ourselves too much or resorting to self destructive behaviors. By making the effort to connect with ourselves, to articulate our feelings and desires in writing, we establish a platform for self care and self support. We could discuss the things that make us happy and at ease. The people who care for us, or the little ways we can show ourselves compassion daily. By focusing on our well being and treating ourselves with kindness and respect, we can develop emotional resilience and inner strength. One advantage of journaling is that it can assist in enhancing our self awareness and emotional intelligence. Reflecting on our thoughts and feelings helps us understand our needs and boundaries better, making it easier to communicate them to others. We learn how to identify our triggers and patterns and develop strategies to manage our emotions in a healthy and productive manner. Being more self aware can also assist in developing deeper and more genuine connections with others. Being honest and open in our journaling helps us feel more at ease with vulnerability and authenticity in our interactions with others. We are taught how to effectively communicate our needs and wants, establish boundaries, And have meaningful conversations. Journaling is a powerful tool for setting goals and solving problems. Dealing with rejection or setbacks can leave us feeling stuck and overwhelmed, making it difficult to know how to progress and bring positive changes into our lives. Utilizing our journal as a brainstorming and planning tool helps us pinpoint our goals and divide them into achievable steps. We could discuss our dreams and goals, the challenges we encounter, and the help and resources required to conquer them. We can utilize our journal to monitor our progress, acknowledge our achievements, and gain insights from our setbacks. By tackling our challenges with curiosity and creativity, we can discover fresh and innovative solutions to even the most intimidating problems. Sure, keeping a journal is not a cure. All. And it might not be suitable for everyone. For some people, writing can feel overwhelming or awkward, while others might turn to art, music, or physical activity to express their emotions. In certain situations, the emotional distress from rejection might be too intense and intricate to be fully addressed through journaling alone, necessitating the assistance of a therapist or counselor. However, Journaling can serve as a potent and transformative tool for managing rejection and other emotional obstacles for numerous people. Journaling offers a secure and personal outlet for self expression, self reflection, and self care. It aids in emotional processing, gaining insights, and fostering resilience and self awareness. Journaling has benefits that go beyond writing on the page. Exploring our inner world and connecting with our thoughts and feelings helps us develop a stronger sense of authenticity and self trust. We are taught to trust our intuition and wisdom, 
make decisions that match our values and objectives, and stand up for ourselves and our requirements. Journaling helps us develop a deeper sense of empathy and understanding for ourselves and those around us. When we delve into our personal challenges and weaknesses, we start to see the universal bond that ties us together. The collective journey of suffering, happiness, and development that shapes our identities. As we journey through life's highs and lows, overcoming rejection and obstacles with bravery and kindness, we naturally become a beacon of encouragement and assistance for those around us. We demonstrate emotional resilience and authenticity, provide room for vulnerability and connection, and encourage others to realize their ability to heal and flourish. Regardless of life's challenges, coping with rejection through journaling is a personal journey that demands patience, self-compassion, and a readiness to confront our own truth. It's not always a smooth or pleasant journey, and there are moments when we might feel like quitting or walking away. By remaining dedicated to the process and consistently showing up for ourselves, we can develop a strong inner resilience to help us navigate challenging times. We learn to view rejection as a chance for personal development and discovery, rather than a setback or a barrier. We help people cultivate the skills to handle life's obstacles with poise and perseverance. We nurture a strong sense of self-love and self-acceptance, understanding that our value comes from within, not from seeking validation from others. If you're feeling overwhelmed by rejection. Try writing or journaling to delve into your inner thoughts. Prepare to be amazed by the revelations and transformation that lie ahead, and by the strength of your inner voice to lead you through the toughest moments. Just know that you have support on this journey, and there are opportunities for growth even after facing rejection. By being patient, showing self-compassion, and dedicating yourself to personal growth and healing, you will come out of this situation stronger, wiser, and more authentic than ever. Lesson six: Don't let rejection to define your self-worth. Melanie has always been a dreamer, with a heart full of passion and a mind brimming with ideas. Since she was young, she wholeheartedly dedicated herself to various interests like painting, writing, and singing. She dedicated herself to her creations, deriving happiness and fulfillment from expressing herself. As Melanie matured, she started to notice that not everyone valued her skills as much as she did. She experienced multiple rejections, from art galleries declining her paintings to literary agents rejecting her novels. Every time she was rejected, it felt like a direct hit on her self-worth and vulnerabilities. Melanie started doubting her value and worth as both an artist and in people. She questioned her abilities to achieve success, unsure if her dreams and ambitions were realistic. She began questioning each brushstroke, every word written on the page, and each note she sang. With each rejection. Melanie felt herself slipping into a profound state of sadness. She gave up creating completely, believing it was pointless to keep trying when faced with constant rejection. She isolated herself from loved ones, overwhelmed by feelings of inadequacy and letdown. One day, while Melanie was browsing her social media feed, she stumbled upon a post from one of her beloved artists. The artist recounted their personal challenges with rejection and self-doubt, and explained how they managed to detach their self. Teen from outside approval, Melanie was deeply moved by the post and couldn't stop reading it. Gradually, Melanie started to understand that her value as in people did not depend on what others thought of her. She realized that rejection was a normal part of the creative journey. And did not diminish her worth or talent as an artist. With this fresh outlook, Melanie began creating once more. She painted with a newfound enthusiasm and determination, infusing each brushstroke with emotion and dedication. She openly shared her personal challenges and successes in her writing. She sang happily and freely, letting her voice soar. Melanie's creation started drawing a different type of attention as she continued to work. People began to appreciate the genuine emotion and authenticity in her work, 
which attracted them to her distinct voice and perspective. She began to receive invitations to exhibit her paintings in nearby galleries, and her writing started to attract a following on the Internet. As Melanie's artistic career started to flourish, she always remembered the importance of self-worth. She kept making things because she loved the craft, not seeking outside validation. She sought out a circle of encouraging friends and mentors who recognized her abilities and motivated her to continue exploring her creativity. Whenever Melanie encountered rejection or criticism, she reassured herself that it did not define her value as in people. She discovered the value of feedback for personal growth and improvement, rather than taking it as a personal criticism. She poured all her passion and dedication into her art, fully aware of her endless worth and potential. Over time, Melanie's artistic journey thrived. She held exhibitions in well-known galleries, wrote a popular novel, and performed her music for large crowds. Throughout everything, she always remembered the importance of finding happiness and satisfaction by staying true to herself through her art. Melanie's story inspired other artists who faced rejection and self-doubt. She conveyed her personal experiences and wisdom in interviews, workshops, and mentoring sessions, inspiring others to value themselves independently of outside approval and to bravely pursue their interests. Reflecting on her journey, Melanie discovered that the rejections and setbacks she encountered turned out to be blessings in disguise. They made her face her fears and insecurities, leading her to gain a better understanding and acceptance of herself. She learned the value of remaining authentic to her artistic vision, regardless of challenges. Ultimately, Melanie's story showcased the importance of perseverance, self-compassion, and artistic authenticity. She had come to accept rejection as a normal aspect of the creative journey, using it to fuel personal development and exploration. She realized that her value as a person was intrinsic and unwavering, and that genuine success and satisfaction stemmed from being authentic to oneself and one's interests. As Melanie kept creating and inspiring others with her art and message, she realized she had discovered her true purpose in life. She had discovered how to embrace and appreciate herself completely, utilizing her skills and voice to create a beneficial influence on society. She exemplified how art can transform and showcase the strength and beauty of humanity. Being rejected can be a difficult and distressing experience, causing feelings of pain, confusion, and isolation. Dealing with rejection, whether in romance, work, or social situations, can be tough and may trigger self-doubt. Feelings of worthlessness and despair. In a world where success and happiness are often linked to external validation, it's common to see rejection as a reflection of our own value. Yet, a crucial aspect of enhancing our well-being and personal development involves detaching our self-esteem from rejection and nurturing a strong belief in our intrinsic worth and respect. Essentially, self-worth is the idea that we are inherently valuable and worthy of love, respect, and happiness. Our value as people is not dependent on our accomplishments, connections, or others' viewpoints. It is an inherent and unchangeable aspect of ourselves. Having a strong sense of self-worth allows us to confront challenges and setbacks with resilience and grace, understanding that our value and dignity remain intact regardless of external circumstances or others' actions. For many people... Self-worth is often connected to feelings of acceptance and rejection. Since childhood, we are taught to look for validation and approval from various sources such as parents, peers, and romantic partners. We come to believe that our value is tied to others' approval and being picked, while rejection makes us feel inadequate or unworthy. This notion can have a significant negative impact on our mental and emotional health, resulting in anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. Relying on external validation for our self-worth gives others control over our value and happiness, making us susceptible to the opinions of those around us. We might always look for validation and approval. 
sometimes neglecting our own needs and boundaries. This can make it difficult for us to stand up for ourselves and go after our own aspirations. Furthermore, if we start to see rejection as a measure of our value, we may end up stuck in a pattern of doubting ourselves and criticizing ourselves. It's common to feel responsible for rejection, thinking we're lacking in some way and not meeting certain standards. We might engage in negative self-talk, where we label ourselves as failures, losers, or disappointments, and believe we will never reach our goals or find happiness. This type of self-criticism can have a significant negative impact on our mental and emotional well-being, resulting in feelings of hopelessness, helplessness, and despair. It may also stop us from taking risks or following our dreams as we get stuck due to the fear of rejection or failure. We might end up accepting less than what we truly deserve in relationships or careers, thinking that we are not deserving of something greater. Rejection is not a reflection of our worth as a person, but rather a natural and inevitable part of life. Rejection is a common experience that everyone faces at some point in their personal or professional lives, and it does not indicate personal failure or inadequacy. Indeed, being turned down can frequently be a result of circumstances beyond our influence, like timing, compatibility, or the preferences and limitations of others. Furthermore, being turned down can serve as a valuable chance for personal development and self-exploration. Dealing with rejection can be a challenging experience that pushes us to address our fears and insecurities, ultimately helping us build resilience and self-awareness. We might uncover fresh strengths and abilities we were unaware of, or gain understanding of our own needs and values to guide us in making improved decisions moving forward. Developing a strong sense of self-compassion and self-acceptance is crucial in detaching our self-worth from rejection. This involves treating ourselves with the same level of kindness, understanding, and forgiveness that we would extend to a close friend or family member. It involves accepting our own flaws and boundaries, while also appreciating our worth and respect as people. Practicing self-compassion means treating ourselves kindly and with care, even when things don't go as planned. It involves recognizing our own pain and suffering without being critical and providing ourselves with the same care and understanding we would give to others. It's important to acknowledge that everyone makes mistakes and counters challenges, as these are a normal part of being human. Another crucial aspect of detaching our self-esteem from rejection involves cultivating a clear personal identity and sense of purpose. This involves dedicating time to delve into our values, passions, and goals, and nurturing a sense of purpose and satisfaction that is not reliant on external validation or approval. It involves engaging in activities and relationships that resonate with our true selves, bringing us happiness and fulfillment regardless of external opinions. Having a clear personal identity and purpose helps us rely less on others' opinions or actions for our self-worth. We can remain authentic to our own needs and desires, even when faced with rejection or criticism. We are also more likely to attract people and opportunities that align well with us, as we are not pretending to be someone else to seek acceptance or approval. Another important strategy for disconnecting our self-esteem from rejection is to develop a growth mindset. This involves viewing challenges and setbacks as chances for learning and growth rather than as reflections of our self, worth, or capabilities. It involves accepting that our skills and abilities are not set in stone, but can be enhanced and refined through dedication and practice. Having a growth mindset helps us handle rejection with curiosity and resilience instead of self-blame or despair. We might wonder what lessons we can take from the experience, how we can make changes in the future, or how we can turn the rejection into motivation to push ourselves further or explore new opportunities. We are more inclined to view rejection as a natural and unavoidable aspect of the learning journey rather than a personal shortcoming or mistake. It can be challenging to detach our self-esteem from rejection, 
and it might need continuous effort and dedication. It might include reaching out to friends, family, or mental health professionals for guidance and support as we go through life's challenges. It could also include creating new coping techniques and self-care routines like journaling, meditation, or exercise to help us handle stress and stay positive. In the end, it's important to understand that our self-worth is not tied to rejection. Our value and dignity come from within and cannot be affected by outside factors or other people's opinions. It involves developing a strong sense of self-love and self-acceptance and treating ourselves with kindness, compassion, and respect, just like we would treat others. When we can detach our self-esteem from rejection, we can confidently pursue our goals and dreams, understanding that our worth and joy are not dependent on others' approval. We can create genuine and rewarding connections through mutual respect and understanding rather than seeking validation or control. We can confidently confront life's challenges and setbacks with grace and determination, understanding that our value and potential are boundless and unwavering. It's important to acknowledge that rejection can be challenging and painful, and we shouldn't downplay the emotions it can evoke. Dealing with rejection can be a very difficult and lonely situation, so it's crucial to recognize and support our own feelings and requirements when it happens. Separating our self-worth from rejection allows us to view these experiences as chances for personal development and self-discovery, rather than as reflections of our value or potential. In the end, the path to valuing and embracing oneself is a lifelong journey with numerous unexpected challenges. There are moments when we feel assured and capable of our own worth and potential, and other times when we grapple with self-doubt and insecurity. By remaining dedicated to our personal development and health, and by being part of encouraging and caring relationships and communities, we can navigate rejection with grace and strength, and come out of it as better, more knowledgeable versions of ourselves. If you're feeling hurt by rejection, just know that your value as a person remains unchanged. Keep in mind that rejection is a normal part of life and does not determine your worth or possibilities. Always remember to be kind, compassionate, and respectful to yourself, and to be around people who recognize and value your worth and dignity. Remember, you are not alone in this journey, and there is always hope and possibility on the other side of even the most painful rejection. By being patient, showing self-compassion, and dedicating yourself to personal growth and well-being, you can discover how to detach your self-esteem from rejection and nurture a strong belief in your worth and capabilities. You are deserving, cherished, and complete, just as you are. Lesson 7. Try to use mindfulness techniques. In a world where success and happiness are often linked to external validation and approval, it's common to become focused on seeking acceptance and avoiding rejection. One effective way to cope with rejection is through practicing mindfulness, which involves being fully present and aware in the moment, without passing judgment or reacting impulsively. Mindfulness involves developing a strong sense of being present and aware in the present moment. Focus on your thoughts, feelings, and sensations without becoming entangled in them or attempting to alter them. Practicing mindfulness involves observing experiences with curiosity and openness, rather than judgment or resistance. We cultivate a feeling of openness and understanding, enabling us to perceive things as they truly are rather than how we desire them to be. Dealing with rejection can be easier when practicing mindfulness, which helps manage intense emotions and thoughts. Instead of becoming entangled in the narrative of rejection, the self-doubt, the blame, the anger, we can practice observing these experiences from a more detached and objective standpoint. We can recognize the pain and hurt we experience without allowing it to shape our identity. Observing our experiences without assigning value judgments is a fundamental aspect of mindfulness. 
Dealing with rejection often leads to self-judgment and self-criticism, where we convince ourselves that we lack the qualities needed for acceptance and love. Practicing mindfulness helps us recognize our thoughts and beliefs for what they truly are. Just thoughts and beliefs, not absolute truths. Developing a non-judgmental attitude towards our experiences can help us break free from the cycle of self-blame and self-doubt that often comes with rejection. We can view rejection as a natural and inevitable aspect of life, rather than a personal failure or flaw. We can cultivate self-compassion by acknowledging that everyone experiences rejection and obstacles at some stage in their lives. Another important aspect of mindfulness involves focusing on the present moment. Staying grounded in the present rather than being consumed by thoughts of the past or concerns about the future. When dealing with rejection, it's common to get caught up in overthinking and dwelling on the situation, replaying it repeatedly or considering alternative approaches. Practicing mindfulness involves redirecting our focus to the current moment and being aware of our present sensations and experiences. Staying focused on the present moment helps us build resilience and adaptability when dealing with rejection. We can learn how to respond to the situation with clarity and wisdom, instead of reacting impulsively or defensively or defensively. We can analyze the situation objectively, focusing on opportunities for growth and learning, instead of getting caught up in the drama of the rejection. Practicing mindfulness can help you develop self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Practicing mindfulness involves tuning into our thoughts, feelings, and bodily sensations to gain a better understanding of our needs, values, and boundaries. Values and Boundaries We understand how to identify patterns and triggers that may cause feelings of rejection and inadequacy and how to create strategies for handling these experiences in a positive and effective manner. For instance, if we find ourselves interpreting rejection as a reflection of our own value or lovability, we can practice mindfulness to challenge these beliefs and cultivate a more balanced and compassionate viewpoint. We can remember that rejection does not define our value as people, but is a normal aspect of life. We can nurture self-compassion and kindness by treating ourselves with the same care and understanding we would give to a close friend or loved one. If we find ourselves avoiding situations or relationships that could result in rejection, we can turn to mindfulness to delve into these fears and build up our courage and resilience. We can start by taking small risks and gradually facing our fears, which will help us build up our tolerance for discomfort and uncertainty. We can view rejection as a chance for growth and learning, rather than a blow to our self-esteem. Practicing mindfulness when dealing with rejection can be challenging and might need continuous dedication. Staying present and grounded during intense emotions and painful experiences can be difficult, leading to feelings of being overwhelmed or discouraged. With practice and patience, we can cultivate a stronger inner stability and resilience, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with grace and calm. One useful way to practice mindfulness when dealing with rejection is to concentrate on the sensations and experiences happening right now, instead of getting tangled in thoughts and narratives about what has already happened or what might happen in the future. For instance, When we feel hurt or angry from a rejection, we can try taking deep breaths and focusing on the physical sensations in our body, such as the tightness in our chest, the tension in our jaw, and the heat in our face. We can explore these feelings with curiosity and an open mind, without attempting to alter or ignore them. As we remain attentive to these sensations, we might observe them naturally evolving without any need for us to do anything. Anger or hurt may begin to fade away, making room for a sense of calm or clarity. Looking at the situation from a new angle, we can understand that rejection does not define our worth or value. Another useful tip for practicing mindfulness when dealing with rejection is to focus on feeling grateful and appreciative for the good things in our lives. During times of hurt or rejection, 
It's common to only think about what we are missing or what we no longer have, intentionally focusing on the positive aspects in our lives, such as our relationships, talents, and the beauty of nature, can help us cultivate a more balanced and resilient outlook. Expressing gratitude can help counteract the sting of rejection by shifting our focus from our failures to the positive aspects of life, offering a reminder that goodness and beauty still exist even during challenging moments. By fostering gratitude and curiosity for the current moment, we can view rejection as a small component of the intricate fabric of life. Sure, incorporating mindfulness and gratitude when dealing with rejection is beneficial, but it may not always completely alleviate the hurt and pain we experience. There might be occasions when we require extra support like therapy, coaching, or supportive relationships to help us handle rejection and build resilience and self-awareness. Incorporating mindfulness and gratitude into our daily routine can help us handle rejection with wisdom and compassion rather than reactively and despairingly. We can view rejection as a chance for personal development and education rather than a danger to our self-esteem. We can enhance our inner strength and resilience, enabling us to overcome setbacks and challenges with grace and determination. In the end, mindfulness is all about creating a new way of relating to our thoughts, emotions, and experiences marked by being open, curious, and non-judgmental. Dealing with rejection can often lead us to focus on the drama of the situation, fixating on our mistakes or what we could have changed. Through mindfulness practice, we can distance ourselves from these narratives and gain a clearer and broader view of the situation. We come to understand that our thoughts and feelings may not always be accurate or beneficial, and we can decide how we react to them. We learn how to nurture a feeling of inner calm and steadiness, even when facing challenging or distressing situations. We come to rely on our inner strength and resilience, understanding that we can overcome difficult obstacles and continue to develop. Certainly, mindfulness is not a cure. All or an instant solution for the discomfort of rejection. Recovering from rejection requires time, patience, and self-kindness, and you may experience various challenges throughout the process. Incorporating mindfulness into our daily lives can help us develop a more grounded and centered approach to dealing with rejection, enabling us to respond with wisdom and compassion instead of reactivity and despair. If you're having a hard time dealing with rejection, know that you're not alone, and there are tools and resources to assist you through this tough experience. Try to include mindfulness and gratitude in your daily routine by practicing meditation, journaling, or taking a moment each day to appreciate the present. Look for helpful connections and communities, such as therapy, coaching, or reaching out to people who have experienced similar difficulties. Above all, be gentle and understanding with yourself as you navigate the journey of healing from rejection. It's important to give yourself the necessary time and space to process your feelings and past experiences. Practicing mindfulness and self-compassion when dealing with rejection helps us build inner strength and resilience, enabling us to overcome setbacks and challenges with grace and determination. We can view rejection as a chance for growth and learning, rather than a danger to our self-esteem. We can develop a strong sense of inner peace and well-being, understanding that we can heal and flourish regardless of life's challenges. Lesson 8 Share your feelings to your friend. During times of vulnerability and emotional turmoil, it can be tempting to isolate ourselves, conceal our pain, and put on a facade of being fine. One effective way to cope with rejection is to confide in a close friend and express our emotions candidly. Expressing our emotions to a friend can be a powerful and positive experience, helping us work through our feelings in a secure and encouraging setting. Sharing with someone we trust allows for vulnerability and connection, enabling us to be truly seen and heard. We allow ourselves to experience our emotions completely, without criticism or embarrassment, and to communicate them in a manner that resonates with our true selves. 
Sharing our feelings with a friend helps us break the cycle of isolation and loneliness that can come with rejection. Feeling rejected or unwanted may lead us to think we are isolated in our suffering, convinced that no one else can comprehend our experience. Yet, when we confide in a friend and open up about our experiences, we realize that we are not the only ones going through difficulties. We discover that others have encountered similar obstacles and hardships, and that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Additionally, confiding in a friend can provide us with fresh viewpoints and understandings of how we handle rejection. During times of emotional distress, it can be challenging to gain clarity on the situation and recognize the underlying factors that may be causing our pain. Discussing our emotions with a friend can help us gain a more balanced perspective. View things differently and discover new opportunities for personal development. A reliable friend can provide us with a listening ear, a caring heart, and a new outlook on our difficulties. They can assist us in changing how we view rejection, focusing on the positive aspects and our ability to overcome challenges. They provide practical guidance and support. Assisting us in generating new strategies for dealing with rejection and progressing in a positive manner. Sharing our feelings with a friend can be challenging at times, as it often involves building trust and being vulnerable. We might be afraid of being judged or not understood or concerned that our friend won't be able to handle the intensity of our emotions. It's common to feel ashamed or embarrassed. Thinking we should deal with rejection by ourselves without bothering anyone else. It's crucial to keep in mind that genuine friendship is established on mutual support and empathy. A true friend will support us through all our emotions and experiences, providing love and acceptance without judgment, especially during our toughest times. They will establish a secure and supportive environment for us to express our thoughts and feelings. Ensuring that we feel acknowledged, listened to, and appreciated for our authentic selves. Furthermore, when we confide in a friend about our emotions, we not only aid in our own healing and personal development, but we also enhance and fortify our connections with others. Sharing with a trusted people can lead to a deep and lasting bond of intimacy and connection. We demonstrate to our friend that we appreciate and have faith in them. By being open and genuine, encouraging them to reciprocate. Research indicates that social support plays a significant role in mental and emotional well-being. Strong relationships can help protect us from the harmful impacts of stress, trauma, and adversity. Building strong relationships with close friends provides a safety net of love and support to help us through tough times. Sharing our feelings with a friend is helpful, but it may not always completely heal the pain of rejection. There are occasions when we might require extra assistance and tools like therapy, coaching, or self-care routines to help us handle rejection better and enhance our resilience and self-awareness. By consistently reaching out to others and being honest about our feelings. We can establish a solid emotional support system that will help us navigate challenging situations. If you're feeling overwhelmed by rejection, it's important to know that you have people in your life who care about you and are there to help. Just take a deep breath, find your courage, and talk to a close friend or family member. Express your emotions openly and honestly, without feeling embarrassed or criticized. And let yourself be recognized and listened to for your authentic self. Consider your friend's point of view, and stay receptive to potential opportunities for personal development and recovery. Keep in mind that rejection does not define your worth or value as a person. It is just a natural part of life that we all have to deal with in our own way. Above all, remember to treat yourself with kindness and compassion as you navigate the healing process from rejection. It's important to allow yourself the necessary time and space to process your emotions and experiences. Believe in your ability to overcome challenges and know that you deserve love, respect, and belonging.
Sharing your emotions with a friend and building a solid support system can help you develop a more stable and resilient way of handling rejection, enabling you to react with wisdom, kindness, and elegance. Viewing rejection as a chance for personal development and education can help you grow. Instead of feeling like it undermines your self-worth, you can develop a strong sense of inner peace and well-being. Understanding that you can heal and thrive regardless of life's challenges. In the end, the process of healing from rejection is unique to each person, and there is no universal solution that applies to everyone. By connecting with others and being honest about your feelings, you can establish a solid support system that will help you during difficult moments. Feel free to rely on your friends and loved ones when you need their support the most. Always remember that you deserve love, respect, and a sense of belonging. There are people in your life who are willing to offer you support and aid in your healing process. Have faith in your inner strength and resilience. Remember, you can turn challenging experiences into chances for growth and learning. Lesson nine: Try to lower your expectations. In a society where success and happiness are often linked to external validation, it's common to feel overwhelmed by high expectations and disappointments while chasing perfection and seeking approval from others. One effective way to cope with rejection is to adjust our expectations and adopt a more practical and balanced outlook on life, enabling us to navigate through challenges with increased strength and composure. Simplifying things. Lowering our expectations involves cultivating a mindset that is open to change and not fixated on particular results. Setting high expectations for ourselves and others can lead to disappointment and frustration when things don't go as planned. Not reaching our goals can make us feel like a failure, and being rejected by someone we care about can lead us to feel unworthy of love and respect. Learning to adjust our expectations can help us gain a more realistic and balanced view of life, acknowledging that obstacles and difficulties are a normal part of being human. We can view rejection as an opportunity for growth and strength, rather than a personal failure or reflection of our worth. Lowering expectations does not equate to accepting less than what we deserve or abandoning our dreams and goals entirely. It means developing a more flexible and open-minded approach to life, allowing us to adapt to changing circumstances and find joy and meaning in the present moment, regardless of the outcome. For instance, when we are seeking a new job or a romantic relationship, we often have high hopes and expectations for the outcome. We can imagine an ideal situation where everything effortlessly falls into place, and we are recognized and valued for our skills and efforts. But if we face rejection or are overlooked for an opportunity, it can leave us feeling devastated and demoralized, as if our self-worth has been completely undermined. By adjusting our expectations, we can approach these situations with a more open and curious mindset, not fixated on a particular result. We can emphasize the process of growth and learning over the end result, finding value and meaning in the experience itself, regardless of the outcome. We can learn to develop a more practical and down-to-earth sense of self-value, which doesn't rely solely on outside validation or approval. By cultivating a solid understanding of ourselves, we can start to view rejection as a normal aspect of being human, rather than a personal shortcoming or a judgment of our value. While rejection can still be painful, we can learn to recover faster and more efficiently, avoiding a spiral of self-doubt and hopelessness. We can view rejection as an opportunity to review our goals and priorities, make adjustments, and continue moving forward with resilience and determination. Furthermore, by adjusting our expectations, we can develop a stronger sense of gratitude and value for the positive aspects of our lives, rather than always pursuing more and feeling inadequate. We can discover happiness and satisfaction in the small joys of daily life. In the connections and moments that give us significance and direction, 
instead of constantly pursuing the next major success or goal. Lowering our expectations can be challenging and may take consistent practice and self-reflection to cultivate this mindset. We might have to focus on releasing old patterns of thinking and behavior and developing new habits and perspectives that promote our growth and well-being. One useful approach to manage expectations involves practicing mindfulness and self-compassion, allowing us to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment or attachment or attachment. When we find ourselves getting overwhelmed by high expectations or self-criticism, we can gently shift our focus back to the present moment and acknowledge that we are trying our best given the resources and circumstances we have. We can also look for supportive relationships and communities that prioritize growth, learning, and self-acceptance over perfection and external validation. Surrounding ourselves with people who uplift and stand by us during life's challenges helps us build a stronger and more resilient self. One useful approach is to establish practical and attainable objectives for ourselves, rather than always pursuing flawlessness or impractical standards. Breaking down our big goals into smaller, achievable steps helps us gain momentum and confidence gradually allowing us to appreciate our progress and successes as we go. In the end, adjusting our expectations involves fostering a kinder and more understanding connection with ourselves and those around us, enabling us to navigate life's challenges more smoothly. It's all about releasing the desire for constant validation and approval and instead discovering a more profound sense of meaning and purpose within ourselves. By developing this mindset, we can start to deal with rejection and setbacks more effectively, understanding that they are just a natural part of the journey and that we possess the inner strength and resources to conquer them. We can view rejection as an opportunity for growth and strength rather than a personal failure or reflection of our worth. Lowering our expectations is not a quick solution for the pain of rejection. Recovering from rejection requires time, patience, and self-kindness, and there might be various challenges throughout the process. By adopting a flexible and open-minded approach to life, we can cultivate a deeper sense of inner peace and well-being, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with more resilience and grace. If you're feeling overwhelmed by rejection, it's important to know that support and resources are out there to guide you through this tough time. Try incorporating mindfulness and self-compassion into your routine, establishing practical and attainable objectives, and engaging with encouraging relationships and communities that prioritize personal development, education, and self-love. Above all, be gentle and understanding with yourself as you navigate the journey of healing from rejection. It's important to give yourself the necessary time and space to process your feelings and experiences. Believe in your ability to overcome challenges and know that you deserve love, respect, and belonging. Final lesson. Rejection power. On these pages, we have highlighted the significance of seeing rejection as a normal part of life rather than a personal shortcoming. We have encouraged you to view rejection as an opportunity for personal development and growth rather than allowing it to have a negative impact on you. By following the advice and guidance in this book, you are on your way to building rejection resilience. This means you can confront rejection, grow from it, and keep working towards your aspirations with enthusiasm and perseverance. Keep in mind that developing resilience is a journey that lasts a lifetime and you will likely face more rejections and obstacles as you go. With the tools and mindset developed from this book, you are now more prepared to handle these challenges with grace, wisdom, and self-compassion. As you progress, make sure to focus on taking care of yourself and exploring who you are. Be around people who support and uplift you, believe in your potential, and push you to grow. Embrace vulnerability and authenticity, and have faith in your people, strengths, and abilities. Above all, always keep in mind that your worth and value are intrinsic and unwavering, 
regardless of any outside validation or approval. You deserve love, respect, and belonging, just for being yourself. As you finish reading this book and venture into the world, go forth with a newfound feeling of assurance, strength, and self-love. View rejection as a path to personal development and achievement, and have faith in your capacity to conquer any challenge. Thank you for being a part of this journey towards building resilience against rejection. May the knowledge and wisdom you have acquired benefit you, and may you keep evolving, prospering, and blooming in every aspect of your life.